Hello, my name is Hannah Ibanjo, and um, I'm also asking myself, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Yes, I'm doing this for two reasons. And I think before I get into this, let's pray. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for who you are to us. We thank you because you are a good God. We thank you because you do not delight in our tears. You really, really want us to be good in life and you want things good for us. Father, I just ask, oh God, that you grant me your utterance for those who this is meant for, Lord, and you will deliver our children. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. Yes, amen. Thank you. So my name is Hannah Yebanjo, and I'm doing this for two reasons. Number one, um, I have a son, you know, that actually attempted suicide some years ago. So whenever I hear about the issue of suicide, I'm really very troubled, I'm devastated, I'm worried. I'm just like any other mother or parent, I'm actually traumatized. And it just is a, ref it's a reflector for me and a reminder, almost like what if, what if he succeeded? It almost clicked, but in the very last minute, he said something told him to make a call. And he made a call and good enough, he was not even around Africa, you know. And when he made the call in five, 10 minutes, I mean, you know, somebody held him out on the line to tell him a few things to do, blah, 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 before he knew what it was. Uh, the siren was there. I mean, they were there, you know, and all of that. And, you know, and what led to it? It had to do with relationship, a feeling of rejection, a feeling of, am I really loved? If I'm that good um, and nobody's accepting me, especially opposite sex, okay? Just hang on with me and you see where I'm headed. All right. So for that timely intervention, God helped us. He was delivered. He didn't commit suicide. And today he's alive. This was years ago and God has helped him. All right. So you know that I've gone through the trauma of hearing, you know what? Your child attempted suicide, you know, and you're wondering, what didn't I do? You know, you know that guilt also of a parent. What didn't I do well? What should I have done? I didn't do and all of that and all of that. I still wouldn't have done this video. But just a few days ago, a few days ago, another lady called me. She sees me as a big auntie. And she says, look, auntie, I just want to tell you this. I feel compelled to telling you this. And what was it? And she went about the story of her life, the issues of her life and all. And she crowned it by saying, look, I'm going to be early 30s, you know, at Valentine. Are you following me? And she said, I still don't have a suit on and all of that. And I look at my life and I'm wondering, is it worth living? Auntie, I thought if is it if there's no if there's no sense in actually just packing it all up, hmm? and and she said to me, you see, all my other colleagues are married who are supposed to be my friends. They even started having children, one, two, and all of that. I don't have any friend that's my age mate and all that. So let me quickly say here, if you're a parent and you are putting your daughter or your son under pressure, to say when I'm getting married, is a man around? Are you talking to him? You have to be very careful. All right, okay, I can't pack that. I come to the conversation I'm having here. So now that Valentine is approaching, a lot is happening with them. And I'm speaking to you as a youth person too, to say, look, a lot is happening to your child from age 15 up until whatever, 30, 40, if he's still not married and unmarried, or yet to get married, a lot is happening to them. So in my, in my opinion, there are three classes of people during this Valentine. Class one of people, of youths, of children, our children, our children who don't think there's any big day about Valentine. What is it? It's a day like any other, nothing, nothing. I mean, nothing. Praise God if that is your child. So it doesn't mean anything to him or her, and that's really fine. Cool. All right. Two are those who currently have dates. They're looking forward to this Valentine. All right. They're looking for because, yes, it's a time to like, okay, launch out. You already, this lady already told me she'll be available. This guy already told me he'll be available to take me out and all that and all of that. And they are like excited, waiting for it. Now, there is a part B of this second group. It will be their first time of getting into sex, immorality, or anything that is not godly. It will be the first time and they are excitedly waiting for it. You see why I need to pray? Okay, so group two. Now there is a group three. This is the group three of the lady I said called me. And this is group three of some of your children. As you're listening or watching this, some of your children already have been that feeling of depression, that feeling of loneliness, that feeling of I'm not loved, I'm not accepted, nothing is working. Hey, brethren, father, mother, do you know, especially this time, 
of the, the pandemic lockdown, really, many of them lost their jobs. They are home 24 7. Most times they are home. Um, so interaction is limited and restricted, and they're just with their computer and all that. And all rubbish is happening on online. As the good things are happening, the bad things are also happening, right? Okay, so, so many of them are really depressed and they are already thinking, Valentine is here, I don't even have any suitor, I don't have anybody calling me out, nobody is going to da 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 da. So some thoughts are going on. How do I confirm that? I confirm that by telling you, overnight I had a revelation. By the way, God deals with me in different areas. If you know me, you know that by God's grace, I'm into different areas in life. Mm -hmm. Is it career? Is it business? Is it leadership? Is it coaching? Is it industry? Whatever, whatever. Is it youth matter? Is it prophetic? Is it worship? I'm just a gamut of just thank God for me. Praise God. Now, I had this strong revelation. And the revelation, it was a quick call for me to say, Hannah, go out and talk. Speak about this. And I believe, I know how God speaks to me. Is I believe it's because there are one or two or three or four of our children or your neighbor's child or your house help. Hello. Your house help. You'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. I don't have time to get into story of, you know, how they've taken their lives. I even know one recently who, a house help, who just, I mean, I was told, who took her life. And it's very cheap and easy to take one's life in this climb. Hello? It's, 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 we don't want to get there. We have had enough of people committing suicide out of feeling rejected, depressed, or sometimes mental health issue. And many parents don't like to come out and speak to it. And many of us don't really like. It's the truth. It, I had to pray to do this. I had to seek my son's consent. Even though I know he's, he's come out of that, praise God. It's a long walk. Hello. You know. So I had to seek his consent. And he said, yes, mom, go ahead. Talk about it. So listen. There are different ways the enemy tries to like hook us. Or, you know, if he looks at you and says you are a parent, maybe you are a praying parent, you are doing, and he knows he can't catch you, he wants to run after your son or your daughter. And he will come with all these vices. But we are victorious. We are more than conquerors through Christ. And that's why there are two things I want to round up you must do. Number, the Bible says watch and pray. Let's talk about the watching. The watching means that, please, could you reach out to your child this Valentine? Please. Some of you as parents will feel that, what? What will I be telling my child about Valentine? You are joking. Would you please just kindly, either you, either your wife, the wife or the, the, the father or the mother, one of you will be closer to your child, to your son or your daughter, yeah? Or call them up, wherever they are, and say, oh, this is Valentine, or that. what's happening? Are you going out to have a date or something? That will open conversation. It's a conversation starter. And you will know where they fall in, whether they don't count Valentine as anything because they are solid themselves, or they really have a date. And I say, yes, yeah, I'm going to chill out with some of my friends and not just know that that one has a plan. So your prayer on that is, oh Lord, help him chill out with the right people. Let them not get into things that are beyond them, Lord. Let them not be ensnared. That's your prayer. And third will be, Valentine, I don't even want to talk about it. Why are you asking me, mom? Uh, or dad, why are you talking to me about it? I don't care. Or... I don't have an answer. Or you will see, you will watch, watch and pray, be observant. You will see something that may tell you this person is already thinking about it. Like the, the, the girl I said called me and she's already, he or she is already feeling somehow about it. It may be a guy, your, your child may be a son that has been rejected. All his proposals are turned down, you know, they nail him like we normally say, you know, and he's feeling really, really terrible about it. So once you get that, would you please be kind to empathize? Hello, empathize. Parents, empathize with your children. It's not the time to begin to think, what have I not given you? What do you need enough? If this is the time to give him or her some small money and say, okay, I wouldn't want to go out that day. All right, do you want us to go out? Or you want to go out? Or you want to just have a, you know, something, something? Please, would you use that to start a conversation? and enter and let him be able to tell you and see if he's depressed or he's going through whatever issues now. I beg you. I've done this and I've just played my part. I believe the Holy Spirit will grow on it. Would you please share it? Would you please tell somebody? I'm Anna Oyebanjo. That's my name. I'm bold to say that I've gone through that. When you are, you know, when, um, when you have a child who is feeling like, you know what, what is life about? You understand? So that's the physical side of it. The word. the prayer part of it, brethren, the prayer part of it is critical because spiritually is where things happen before it gets into physical. Yeah? So the prayer is where you arrest the emotion of that child. 
and there is a, a, a guide, a prayer guide I'm attaching to this video. I want you to please just click on, on the link. It will take you to where you can get, you know, uh, a registration so you can get it sent to you. It's just 20 bullets against suicide. Simple. Warfare against suicide. Your child will not take his life. And we use this time to just uh, want to pray for the comfort of every household whose child succeeded in taking his or her life, the Lord God will comfort these families. The Lord God will in his mercy, I don't know how he will do it, but he will guide them. He will erase the pain. He will wipe it up. He will just heal what only he can do because there's nothing he cannot do. And I pray that it will not, affliction will not rise again. And that's why I beg you, please share this. Valentine is here. As they are doing all of that, sending this round, your child may be thinking of something silly. Hello. And don't say you are too spiritual for this. If you are a pastor or a pastor's wife, this message is more strong for you. Don't go and carry Bible and say, look, I don't have that time. I can't speak out to run with thought them scriptures. You've taught them scriptures. I'm also a pastor. Hello. God bless you. So, let's have a good time. The Lord will keep them. The Lord will shield them. Don't forget, please click on the link. Take the prayer. When you pray, please, as a couple, if you can pray together, that's fine. Otherwise, one person can do it. God answers prayers. God bless you. Amen and amen. We will not sorry in Jesus' name. Amen.